I told you. Didn't I tell you it would do that eventually, that it would just cut me off and I'd be left in oblivion? <laughs> I'm sorry. I am sorry. I'm rubbish at this. Anywho, we'll just call this um, Get Ready With Me 2.5. <laughs> so, soddy, we know we've got another 30 minutes. That's grand. So, I'm going to have another little sip, chin chin. Especially as it's like, I don't know, what is it? Half six, maybe? Mm, don't know. Yeah, it must be. It must be nearly seven o'clock. Oh, hurry up. It's nearly time for Hollyoaks. Oh my gosh. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> right, so bronzer. See both sides? Mm hmm. Right, so what I'm doing at the minute, I'm just going to put it on and then I'm going to blend it out, okay? So if you remember, we were on, we were on the Elf Sunkissed Glow. I will list all the products this time, and I will go back to the Get Ready With Me skincare one and list the products that I used. I will I will <laughs> rewatch it, write it down, and then um, list them. So I'm very sorry. I I don't think I did. Did I? Did I? I can't, I can't remember. Anyway, I'll check and I'll do that. Oh, I don't know. Bloody YouTube. Right. Because I can't go live, I've not got a thousand subs. Or a thousand and one. So I can't go live. It's crazy. I should have started to go live when I got a hundred. I do regret it now because I kept saying to people, should I go live? But I was too scared. I know that sounds stupid, but I was nervous. Very nervous. Because I'm not a... Excuse me a minute. Oh, God, that's better. I sat still for too long. Um, I'm not a beauty guru. I'm not a drama channel. I'm just me. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm vlogging my journey. So, you know, things change. And anywho, stop waffling, Dory. So, still got my towel on my knee, which is good. Because I think I've got something with my... Uh, <coughs> <laughs> I have always got something in my I'm so sorry. Just just look away if you're squeamish, but what have I got in my eye? I can, you know you can feel something in your eye. And don't say it's my finger. Smart ass. <laughs> and I've got fluff on that one. Right, so do you remember what we said? Um, above where you you no, I would normally contour here. Yep, so darker there. I'm not gonna do it. Bronzer there. Okay. And then what you want to do is just take it, take it up just above your temples, and then bring it down. Not a lot. You don't. You, seriously, don't overload your brush. You can add, but you can't take away. Well, you can actually, but it's a faff, isn't it? When you've got to go and get something to take your makeup off. Um. Same again on this side. Just, just you know, because I've got fair hair, or light hair, or <laughs> grey hair, white hair. Um, I'm just pulling it out of the way so I don't get it in my hair and again just very very gently on your temples and again like I said think about where you would catch the sun now I'm going to come close to you I'm warning you now if you look at my hair my where the frick am I from <laughs> if you look at my head I've got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of freckles freckles and the minute the sun comes out they go they go bonkers so I always try and just very, very gently do a little bit of bronzer up at the top. And what that does, if you turn your head to the side, 
it gives you a little bit of definition between you know how many fingers brow are you <laughs> fod big fod you know it, it just gives your head a little bit of definition so it doesn't look if you've got a, a large area from your eyebrows to your hairline what this does is just reduce that by creating definition okay or you know if you've got a fringe fine you know it covers that bit up but if you've not or you want to wear your hair back or and you have you you know you have got a, a quite a high hairline using a bronzer or a um a contour powder will help with that it will reduce it and it will bring it in and it will bring the focus down to your eyes rather than your forehead okay cool right so let's carry on with our bronze i've got an itchy nose again Ugh. right so we've done there there across there now i like to do under here as i would with my contour because it's the same principle you want to shape your face you know you want your face to stand out and people to look at your face face men mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, now, bear with. It's never where I want it, is it? Excuse I. brush I know it looks like a stipple brush stippling brush it's not it is super 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 soft okay super soft this is a Mac brush had it for 20 odd years look after your brushes they last forever so we've done the bronze now what we want to do is take away the line because you can actually see where I've put it so I want to make that more natural. So it's very, very gently. It sounds really weird, doesn't it? But honestly, I promise you, it's so soft. It sounds like I'm like scratching myself, I'm not, I promise. Look, look, right, okay, why is it back now, look. So you've just taken it down a notch. And it's just so you don't, it's like I say, you don't look like you've just been for a spray tan and they've put a mask over you and only done like that bit, that bit, that bit, that bit. And again, just very, very gently bring that bit down. Okay. Happy with that? Okay. Don't really need to worry about that. Okay. Yep, good to go. All right. As it's summer. <laughs> Dear Mother Nature. As it's summer, we're going to do a bit of highlight, okay? So remember, this is only our canvas, this is only our base. We will add everything else. We might actually have time now. Shall we see? Oh, did you know it again? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Guess who this is made by? Elf. Can you see that? So you've got an absolutely bad 
banging shimmer there and then you've got a much softer shimmer there. This is my little friend. Another one of my favourite brushes. Super, 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 super soft look. Just goes pfft. Okay, now what I'm going to do with this side. That creaking you can hear, by the way, is my knees against the radiator because if I don't position myself, I will actually fall over. I'm in that much pain now. So I've got the lighter one on my, um, my, my lovely little brush. And all I'm gonna do, hang on, make sure it's all covered on all sides. Yeah, okay. Turn to the side. Just very gently. Can you see that? Almost like you're giving yourself, I don't know, I can't describe it, but it is seriously beautiful. Doesn't pick up very well on camera, but in my, in my mirror, it's like, wow. Same again on the other side. I'm not going to use the pink because I don't want to. Probably use the pink if I had a cooler tone skin, to be fair. Okay, so the same again, just very, very gently. Just look, see. Eyelash. And you've got an eyelash, make a wish, okay? I'm not telling you. There you go, you see it better on this side. So it's just, it's just a really gentle shimmer, that's all it is. And the other place that I pop it is... Can you see that? Yep. So when I move, it just gives just that little bit of definition, a bit more definition. Right, next place is, I don't know, you're going to just above where your eyebrows are, there, because if you think about it, you, you want to look natural and healthy and glow. So a little bit of shimmer up there won't do you any harm whatsoever. Or anybody else. And same again there. You don't need to go past sort of here. Just bring it around and join it up. Can you see that there? It just looks pretty. Yeah, it's just natural, but it's pretty. So when you go back, there you go. Now, what I was about to say, I think before it cut off was, I can hear loads of people going, what about the size of your nose? What about the size of your nose? Yes, we're going to do that. Hang on, I've got something in my eye. I've got something on my eye. Or, you know when you get like a really fine bit of something on your eye? <sighs> right, so. Yeah, I'm happy with that. There's that set. We've got no fallout. I know you've got more. <laughs> Another eyelash. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get extensions of this, right? And just like have them on permanently. Right, okay, so that for me is my canvas. That That is it. If I wanted to add color, this is where I'd, 
the colour comes in. But first of all, I need a frame to work with. So what I would do is my, my uh, uh, eyebrows. I'm using a light brown wax pencil, which is one of those that you roll up, roll down. Yeah, in light brown. Now I use, the reason it's light brown is because I've got grey and white hair or salt and pepper hair or whatever you want to call it. Okay, and I, if I come really close in, you can, you can see there are a few, see? Bloody eyelashes get everywhere. <laughs> Um, you can see that there are a couple of hairs, but not many, okay? So what I want is a nice balance. Let me come in closer so you can see what I'm doing. So I just very gently, because again, if you start going, <coughs> you're, gonna, you're still pulling your skin, aren't you? Yeah? Follow what I've got already. I don't like thick eyebrows. I've never liked big, thick eyebrows. I just don't like it. I don't like it on me. Um, some people can get away with it. Some people try and get away with it. Um, enough said. But yeah, just, it's almost as if you're putting your eyes eyebrows back on yeah the ones that, that aren't there <laughs> for me and then same on the other side okay so it's almost like coloring in what's there but you do it in strokes like you would with a mascara you do it in strokes and you can also, if you you know, if you know what your bottom line is going to be, you can just go and do it, and then fill them in. You do it how you do it. This is how I do it. My daughter has the most beautiful eyebrows when she does them. Oh. But she has started to overpluck. <laughs> And she's only 20, and I said, told you. <laughs> okay, so just make sure that that matches up. You don't want to bring them all the way down to, to here, because uh, you just don't, trust me. You would look like a circus clown. Okay. There. Come back. Refocus my eyeballs. <laughs> okay. See that one's more up than the other one. It's a really look. So that's about there, and then can you see I've taken that to more of a point now? It's adoring. What have you been for dinner tonight? Mm, protein. Oh, yum, protein night. Chicken and salad. And boiled egg. Mm, yum, yum, yum. I'm starving. I'm not eating today. I need to stop talking when I'm doing this because I'm thinking. 
right eyebrows okay that that for me is enough i don't do big eyebrows sorry but they don't all right my lovelies as we have time let's go for it just a little sponge applicator and all i'm gonna do um Should go for all I know. Okay. <laughs> this is the palette. Nudes and just sort of basic, basic colours. It's made by Elf. <laughs> <gasps> really, Dory. Mm -hmm. So I'm taking the lightest colour. That one. And I'm using that as a base. Okay, and I unfortunately have hooded eyes. Which um, annoys me, to say the least. Same on the other side. This brush here, if you look at it up, that way up, it's quite thin. Oop, my eternity ring swizzled. If you look at it that way on, it's quite fat. <laughs> I am going to use this colour here. Sorry, my loves. Which one? That one. You need that? like a tanny colour because it's in keeping with the fact that I've got bronzer on. Yes. Which you no, know, you can't do anything in this house without being interrupted. Yes, love, how can I help? What time do you want dinner? When it's ready. I'm nearly done now. Would you mind putting 135 on for me, please? Mm -hmm. Assuming it's that time. Yeah, thank you. That won't be long, sweetie. Okay, and what you want to do, if you've got hooded eyes like me, is find... There you go, your socket. Now, I know where mine is because I've been doing this for years. So just gently press and you'll feel we're going to run out of time again. So we will stop at, I think I might stop at eyes and then I'll do mascara and lips next time. How about that? Does that sound right with you? So we'll just do this bit, okay? And then... And we do the same on the other side. Not too much. It does actually help if you've got hooded eyes, if you look down. Because then it gets your your eyelid out of the way. Okay. So you just you you just putting this colour down at the minute. We will be blending, don't worry. Plenty of blending. God, it's like bloody pedalist station in this house. Yes. Where you have to hold the Yes. Okay, I'll 
this one. Thank you. It's half past rather than seven o'clock. That's all right. Mm. It'll be on at eight. Thank you. I love Sim. He's really, really sweet. He's really kind. I'm thoughtful. He's got a bad ankle and to come all the way upstairs to ask me. That's loves, isn't it? <laughs> right, so I know it doesn't look even at the minute, but what you've got to remember is we've we've got to be doing a bit of blending. Right. This is a crease brush made by that same company. I swear I don't work for them. I I'm not sponsored by them. I don't work for them, okay? So crease brush. Now, what I tend to do with it is just, just very gently lift. Not a lot, not a lot. Very gently lift, because it's a crease brush. Close my eye and then it's just open it again and then I'll let go. So I can see where I'm where I'm going if you like. Now if you've got hooded eyes and you start bringing your eyeshadow all the way out here, all you're gonna do is make it look worse. So what you want to do is bring it up so it lifts the eye. Okay? So we're not taking it out we're taking it up and it should actually i should finish just in time before this goes bye dory <laughs> like it did last time it doesn't normally take me this long but obviously i'm trying to help you and show you what i do um and see if there's anything that you can pick up from me that you think oh that's a good idea and obviously in the comments, if there's anything you think I could do that would help me, I'm absolutely open to suggestions other than anything that, that starts with F and ends in F, because that's just rude. Okay, you see that? Lovely natural, no big harsh lines, no... So it's just going up, up, up. Same on the other side, very, very gently, just lift, there you go, close your eye and you just start to rock very gently, isn't it? I'm literally using no, literally, blah, basically literally using no, <laughs> no pressure, no pressure Dory, no pressure. Literally, basically, no pressure. Oh God, how many times do you hear people say that? It's like when people say like, you know, like when like people say like all the time. It always makes me giggle. All right, my lovies, so there we are. What do you think? You can swirl. You can rock. A crease brush is your best friend, or it can be, if you use it correctly. And by that I mean use it very gently, very carefully. It's there to move the product where you want it to be, not... <laughs> digging it into your skin. What that has done, she says, trying to refocus her eyeballs. You can just see, yeah. Just put the two colours together. 
Okay. And there we go. If you notice that you've got a little bit, like I can see there is a bit deeper. Go back. Let's put a bit more product on. That's all we've got to do. It's going to cut out any minute. So, there we go. All right, so we've done foundation, concealer, powder, eyeshadow, and eyebrows. So I will put down below in this one and probably the other one <laughs> what I've used. But I'd like to thank you for watching so far. Part three will be um, finish, probably finishing off the eyes with mascara um, and maybe a little bit of highlighter up here. And we'll do lips as well, all right? So thank you for watching. It, do, it does mean a lot to me that you guys watch. Even if I only get five of you watching, it doesn't matter. It, it's five people that have sat and watched this, so thank you. I will see you soon. Much love from me to you. Take care.